to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be trying everything that I've never tried from Nando's. video in this series on my channel so i have so far done mcdonald's and kfc which i would personally say are the two biggest takeaways in the uk and then if we're gonna go to like actual restaurants i feel like nando's is just probably one of the biggest like every single person knows nando's however every time i go i tend to get the same thing so i went down the menu and i realized there's actually a lot that i haven't tried and i'm not gonna lie there is way more but again like in every video i don't want to overdo it and order absolutely everything because it would be so much wasted food as you can see here i've got a mixture of stuff i've got some sides i've got loads of dips i've got desserts i've got wraps i've got chicken and i've got salad so there is lots and lots of stuff to try if you guys do want to go and watch the other two episodes in this little series i will link them down below we have got mcdonald's and kfc like i said the mcdonald's one went down so well i thought i would turn it into a series on my channel and then just let me know what ones you guys want to see next i really hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started i'm gonna be honest i'm absolutely sweating at buckets in here today i have to shut the door when lush i have to shut the door when i'm filming because of the noise and it is just ridiculous heat like absolutely ridiculous i've never felt a heat wave like this in england before like ever and i don't own a fan so i really need to purchase a fan first up here i have got wing roulette so basically wing roulette is where you get 10 different spiced hot wings or like normal chicken wings some are extra hot some are mild and we're going to try those but i've never done that before and then here i've got the great imitator wrap which is chicken but not chicken so it's like a veggie chicken and then here i've got pineapple and halloumi and then i've got this feta and quinoa salad so i think i'm maybe going to try the feta and quinoa salad first believe it or not never had a salad from nando's before and i don't really know why to be honest it's probably because i was never a massive fan on lettuce and then suddenly out of nowhere i really like it i feel like this is going to be really nice i want to get a bit of the feta let's get a bit of the tomato god that's quite a big mouthful isn't it i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit this in my mouth Mm. Mm. that's very gummy i can't tell what dressing this is like i don't know if it's caesar or not how nice is feta cheese though mm. feta and cheese feta is cheese what i'm all about feta and tomato pasta is amazing but i didn't actually realize how nice it was going to be with lettuce the only thing is i can't cut these lettuce pieces up because i don't have a knife with me right now i'm actually going to take this up to the roof terrace to eat once i finish filming this video because this is probably one of the nicest salads i've ever had mm. that's proper nice that i feel like i would probably end up getting a salad from nando's now because because in the summer, it's just fresh, isn't it? That's really good. Like, I definitely rate that a 9 out of 10. I've just realised as well that tomatoes are sun-dried tomatoes, which with feta, unstoppable combination. I did get some Coke as well to wash it down with. I have got three drinks. I'm going to try them, but Coke is always the best shout. Next up, we go for a wrap. I think I'm going to go for this one. This is the Great Imitator Wrap. So like I said, this basically is Nando's version of like a vegetarian vegan wrap. I haven't tried the imitated chicken at Nando's before, so this is the first time I'm going to be trying it. I have no idea what else is in this wrap either. You know what? It does actually taste like chicken. The only thing is, I don't like the sauce. I don't know what sauce is in this wrap, but whatever sauce it is, I really don't like it. It's almost like a spicy tomato type of sauce, but the imitated chicken tastes just like normal chicken. That is really good. If it didn't have the sauce in, I would really like it, but sorry, I don't like the sauce. The chicken, I'd rate like a 7 out of 10. That is a very good copy, but the sauce, 2 out of 10. So overall, We'll go for a five i have got some sides down here as well i have got some hummus which i have actually tried before so i'm not really sure why i ordered the hummus and pita bread but how good is hummus and pita anyway i honestly have an obsession with it at the moment red pepper hummus mm. I would. That's so nice and fresh. This is what I mean. I really needed fresh food today because of how hot it is. Oh, I love that. That's really good. I've got this little dress in here. Do you reckon this was for the salad? Do you reckon this is Caesar? Let me give it a smell. Oh no, that stinks. What on earth is that? Is it cream? Oh my god, I think it could be cream for the brownie. Oh my god, imagine if I put that on my salad. They've also given me so many of the different sauces and I also have here the extra, extra hot sauce, which is fairly new out. So I'm going to try that with some chips. Oh, our last little bite of the hummus though with pita. This is one of my favourite starters along with the halloumi cheese and chilli jam. Nando chili jam oh and peri tamer basically nando's is really good next up i am going to go in for wing roulette so like i said these are all going to be different spices i have no idea what spice they're going to be i do have loads of different sachets down here of like wild herb lemon and herb i've got peri peri sauce hot i've got is this garlic peri peri garlic sauce i've never tried half those oh i don't know which one to go for okay i'm going to go for which one looks see this one doesn't look spicy but i feel like it's very deceiving let's go for this one in the corner i'm not gonna smell it before because i feel like i'm gonna be able to tell i'm just gonna take a bite that's one of the spicy ones oh my god well that's got 
Jesus. Mmm, good though. It's got a really big dark kick to it. Mmm, it's very spicy. <laughs> Can you hear that? Ooh. I'm gonna go for one more. My nose is streaming. Absolutely streaming. Got it. Oh, I don't even want to smell it again. Oh, that one's mild. That's got nothing on it, this. This is dead plain. Where's it on my nose? This one's just plain. I can't taste anything. See, personally, I normally go for a medium spice because I don't think medium is hot at all. I don't know how people eat plain. It's very plain. All right, the chicken's obviously nice, but just tastes very bland. Saying that, though, my mouth is still on fire. Right, I'm going to go for something fresh now, and I've never tried this before. This is the rainbow slaw. Basically, I think this is coleslaw, but without the mayonnaise. Again, I never used to like coleslaw, and then recently, ever since i filmed 24 hours on a boat i have been in love with cheese coleslaw please if you haven't tried it you need to try it because it is actually phenomenal oh oh gosh that's not nice oh i don't like that at all oh no thank you what one on? i don't like that at all maybe i don't like coleslaw unless it's got mayonnaise in because what's coleslaw is it like cabbage carrots this is looks like it's got lettuce in as well i don't know but maybe oh i don't know i like all that stuff but that just tastes very different to me like very different to like the normal coleslaw i don't know i'm gonna rate that like a four out of ten just tastes a bit like i'm eating the ground what do i try next i have got one chicken wrap left and i've got these chips and this extra hot sauce and then we have got some dessert so so I'm going to go for this one here. This is the Peri Peri sauce in extra, extra hot. I didn't realise I ordered a whole bottle of it. So I'm definitely, I'm going to be eating this now with my chicken. I feel like this is going to be really hot. Saying that though, I can't get it open. Saying that though, I feel like I've tried, like obviously I've just had whatever that was on the chicken. I feel like I have tried it before. And sometimes you go to certain Nando's and the extra hot sauce tastes completely normal and then you go to other nandos and it actually burns your mouth off i feel like it really does depend where you are i'm not gonna lie and i also really cannot get into this i don't know what is going on i might have to call someone in to help me i'm just gonna call callum he's in the other room and i'm gonna get him to come and open this because um this is not coming off he'll be here in five four three two one you can't get me on camera man. <laughs> what do you mean you're looking lush just got the shower what do you mean Cold shower. It's really hard, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to try some? Yeah, that's really spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's spicy, that, isn't it? Do you want to try one? Oh! <laughs> Right, we are in. It is correct. This smells extremely spicy. And I feel like the more liquidy it is, the spicier it is. Okay, here we go. It smells like it's gonna actually end you, but like, why am I fine? I mean, I don't want to push my luck and like try loads more, but I guess when you have it with a full meal, if you're gonna take the and have a lot, then I get it. But I mean, it's hot, but it's <coughs> it's hot, but like it's not scorching like people make out. That's very underwhelming, actually. Like really underwhelming. Can't believe that. That's that gonna be really spicy. I was quite looking forward to a bit of like spice. Like I can feel it in my throat. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, nowhere near as much as people say. Let's try this other wrap, and then we can go into dessert. So this is a pineapple and halloumi wrap, which seems like such a weird combination to me. Love cucumber cucumber don't all about i love halloumi but i don't really like pineapple that much like if i'm in a, like a hot country and i'm like sat by a pool then i love pineapple but it wouldn't really be my like first choice of fruit it's also really like coming through the wrap because it's very wet oh god i feel like i can't get to where is it oh it's got that sauce in again oh i really don't like it whatever that sauce is in the wraps really ruins it to be honest though as a whole i don't think i'd like that wrap like i can just imagine it just i don't know halloumi and pineapple let me know down below what your thoughts would be on having halloumi and pineapple in a wrap or if you've tried it i personally four out of ten out of all of the mains i love the feta and quinoa salad i love the hot wing roulette didn't mind the imitator wrap and i didn't like i, I mean i liked the hot sauce obviously love the hummus didn't like the rainbow sauce and i didn't like this feta no halloumi and what's it got in it pineapple wrap this salad however i will be saving and i'm gonna have my pitta with this so i'm just gonna pop that in there and i'll be having that on the roof terrace in a little while we've got some desserts and we've got some drinks so we've actually got some iced tea here these are the rubro still iced tea so we've got lemon flavor we have got peach flavor and then i think this is berry yeah we've got berry i would say out of these berry would probably be my go-to <coughs> I'm disgusting, pardon me. I would say out of all these three, berry would definitely be my go-to, but I don't know really what my thoughts are on iced tea. It smells a bit like an ice lolly, but it smells a bit alcoholic. It's not alcoholic, is it? No, it's not. It smells it though. 
That's really nice, that. It just tastes like, it doesn't taste like tea at all, it tastes like berries. So, next I'm gonna try some of the dessert. So we have got here the cheesecake. I can't actually remember what flavor it is. I think it's strawberry and raspberry ripple, maybe. And then I've also got here the salted caramel brownie. However, I'm really confused what this is. I don't know if it's cream and I don't want it it's dripping down the sides. Don't wanna eat it if it's not. I feel like it has to be though, but it just doesn't really have a smell. No, it's definitely cream. That is, yeah, that's definitely cream. Hmm. Okay, well I'm just gonna pour a little bit on the brownie. Oh, Gosh, this looks lovely. Not me using the same fork as a salad to eat my brownie. Let's give this a go. If this was warm, I can imagine this would be so good. Oh my God, it's so gooey. Wow, actually wow. That's the best brownie I've ever had in my life. Normally I'm really hung up on brownies because I only really like the Betty Crocker ones. That is phenomenal, it's so gooey. Mm, 11 out of 10, that's the best thing I've tried the whole video. That's so good. And then we've got some of the cheesecake. Oh, very soft, it's very melty. Let's give this a try. Cheesecake wouldn't normally be like my first dessert. I do normally go for a brownie, but I thought it'd be nice to try it. Nando's desserts have really pulled through here. That is unbelievable cheesecake. So soft. Really bouncy as well. Oh my god. Mmm. That's the best. No. The desserts are the best thing I've tried all video. Hand down. Well everyone, that is the end of the third episode of this series. I've absolutely loved trying everything that I've never tried from Nando's before. Ultimately, I would say my favourites have to be the desserts. I'm not going to lie to you. When I'm in Nando's, by the time I've had a starter in the main, I'm never hungry enough for a dessert. So I feel like now I need to start just having mains and desserts instead of the starter in a main. Desserts are definitely the best thing I've tried. Absolutely loved this feta and quinoa salad. I thought that was beautiful. And I also loved the wing roulette. Personally, for me, I think I stay away from wraps from Nando's. I feel like wraps really aren't my thing. And when I do have a wrap, I don't really tend to have any chicken in it anyway. But that's why like, I didn't really like it. And this, this is very underwhelming. It's hot, don't get me wrong. Like, let me know down below if you think this is hot because I just didn't think it was that hot. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, if you smash a huge thumbs up and let's see if we can smash 20,000 likes on this video. Let me know what one in this series you want me to do next. I'm thinking pizza. I feel like that pizza could be a really good idea. Other than that, I love you all so much and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah.